At CES 2026, Qualcomm made a big, very clear bet on the future of robotics with the launch of Dragonwing IQ10, a new platform designed specially to power humanoid robots and autonomous machines. Dragonwing IQ10 is essentially a robot-first brain. Now, unlike traditional chips built for phones or PCs, this one is designed to handle what robots need most. Real-time vision, sensor fusion, motion control, and AI decision-making all on the device itself without relying on the cloud. That's critical because robots can't wait for internet responses when they're walking, lifting objects, or navigating around people. According to Qualcomm, the platform can process multiple camera feeds and sensors at once, helping robots understand their surroundings, plan movements, and react instantly. The company is positioning Dragonwing IQ10 as a foundation for what it calls physical AI intelligence that doesn't just think but acts in the real world. At CES, Qualcomm showcased humanoid robots and autonomous systems running on this platform, underlining its ambition to become the go-to chip maker for next-generation robotics, much like it already is for us for smartphones. And then came a moment that stole the show. During the live demo, the humanoid robot briefly malfunctioned. It paused, froze and needed a reset before continuing. No chaos, just a very human pause. Honestly, it felt fitting because if robots are going to act like humans, a small malfunction once in a while might just be part of the deal. From CES 2026, this is Eshwarya Anand for CNBC TV 18, where even the future of robotics has its off dates. Make informed decisions with comprehensive analysis on the go. Strengthen your portfolio with real-time market updates on the go. Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinion on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV18. Now streaming live 24-7 on YouTube. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to CNBC TV 18. Make sure you follow us and stay updated on all our social media platforms.